Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. Today we're going to take another peek behind the curtain of video game voice acting, showing you the actors behind some of your favourite characters. If you've ever been playing a game and thought, where do I know that voice from? Well this is the series for you. In today's episode we're going to take a closer look at the cast of Resident Evil 3, the 2020 version. This is Capcom's survival horror outing which isn't just a remake of a beloved title, it's a chance to revise, explore and change characters and interactions like never before. So these voice actors are pretty damn important. So let's check them out and see where you may know them from. As we return to the zombie infested streets of Raccoon City, most of our time will be spent amongst the members of STARS, or as Nemesis would say, one of the last remaining STARS team members is the hero we all need, the legendary Jill Valentine, voiced by relative newcomer Nicole Tompkins. Alright, I'm in, but I am on their side, not yours. And then I had one of those moments where you realize something you think is really unique and cool and super hipster and like no one thinks about it, suddenly everyone actually knows it. If you've played the exquisite Middle Earth Shadow of War, you already know her voice. Nicole played Idril, a warrior and leader who fights for her place in what she describes as a man's world. In that game, she has a British accent. We made them pay for every inch of ground, but they now hold it. Pretty good for a girl from Texas. GG milady. Nicole has quietly gone about building her resume with regular short film work and can also be found in huge TV shows such as American Horror Story where she portrayed older Scarlet in the season finale. You're just saying that because I'm the only member of the family that ages. But if I'm honest, all I need from my Jill Valentine actress is one line. Here's the version back in 1999. You want stars? I'll give you stars. No pressure Nicole. Oh, and if you're wondering where you recognize Jill's face from, it's taken from a Russian model called Sasha Zotova. Why did I say it like that? Anyway, who'd have known it? Jill Valentine is also a Russian catwalk model. Back in 1999, we were introduced to Carlos Oliveira, an umbrella operative oozing machismo. All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. But now in 2020, Carlos is being reimagined by voice actor Jeff Shine. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level, you'll find supplies there. For me, it's the look of the character and then figuring out who that character is and then the voice sort of follows that. While Jeff's early career largely consisted of short films and the odd TV appearance, he really came into his own when he focused on the video game industry. He has lent his voice to the likes of Red Dead Redemption 2, Just Cause 4, Mafia and Call of Duty World War 2. Queens, your prodigal son returns. <laughs> Man, that was a good game. Oh, and if Jeff wasn't already building up enough of a reputation within the video game world, later in 2020, he'll be lining up alongside voice acting royalty Laura Bailey, Troy Baker and Nolan North as he puts on the star-spangled spandex of Steve Rogers, aka Captain Murica, in Marvel's Avengers. Holy sh balls, Batman, that's impressive. Ah, oh, wrong franchise, sorry. Anyway, that's still impressive. With two of the biggest games of 2020 under his belt, I wouldn't be surprised to see Jeff become a household name in future. Oh, and another one I just remembered before I finished the voiceover. Jeff played Javier in The Walking Dead. I never finished that game. I really should go back. <laughs> You sneaky little... Carlos is another character with a face taken from somewhere else. The real dude is Benson Mokhtar, which is the best name you'll hear all day. How can he look like that when I seem to have fallen down the ugly tree? Damn you genetics. Joining Jill and Carlos on their journey will be the remaining members of Umbrella's mysterious UBCS platoon, including Mikhail Victor. The gruff Russian captain will be voiced by William Hope. I am UBCS platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. As far as we were concerned, we thought the day was finished, wrapped, and that we were going to do, you know, do some background stuff or some, you know... A true old school actor who has been performing in the industry for decades. William started acting in major Hollywood productions back in the 1980s, appearing in films like Hellraiser 2 and the iconic Aliens. Wow. That's true. We've been trained to deal with situations like this. Over the last decade, he's moved away from performing in front of camera and now can be found voicing many of your favourite characters. Strangely though, yes, his voice has appeared in lots of games, but his main avenue for voice work has come from this, Thomas the Tank Engine. Cue the dancing goths under the bridge. 
Mr. Hope has been the voice of Edward forever, and he can also pull a little Toby or Rocky when the time comes. Yes, much too fast. Anyway, good night, Philip. After seeing this, it's hard to see that Russian military leader causing any fear at all. This guy using Thomas the Tank Engine. Also along for the ride will be Nikolai Zinoviev, Carlos and Mikhail's brother in arms, so to speak. I can also hear the hardcore fans' fingertips itching, telling me how I mispronounced his name. I'm very sorry, please don't hurt my family. Nikolai will be played by Neil Newbern, who, behind that Russian accent, is actually a fellow Englishman. Pop the kettle on, Tarquin. Dead time to start getting dead weight through. She's unreliable. Again, pull the trigger when it counts. Those days are long, hard work, yeah, but they don't, they feel, they're just playtime. So they, they feel easier than your body may be experiencing. It's no surprise that Neil started his career in rainy old England, appearing in TV shows like The Bill, Holby City and Holly uh, Who the hell am I kidding? Most of you have not got a clue what these shows are. So we'll keep this to video games. Neil not only lent his voice, but also his body. <laughs> but also his body in full motion capture performance for the Final Fantasy XV tie-in movie King's Glaive, where he starred alongside Aaron Paul and Sean Bean. And by the way, Sean Bean is from Yorkshire. That's where I'm from. Not many of us escape from here so well bloody done Sean what was I saying oh yeah Neil Neil has been cracking out mocap and voice acting work for a number of major games including are you ready for this get hyped Horizon Zero Dawn Sniper Elite and Planet of the Apes okay the last one was not impressive but get this he's also in the 2018 juggernaut Detroit Become Human where he played Elijah Kamsky the former CEO of Cyberlife and one of the game's most intriguing characters I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. Another mercenary sent onto the scene by Umbrella is Tyrell Patrick, who is played by Sterling Sullivan. You going somewhere? You damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. There's just a lot of passion and intrigue and love and all those things, so I think I think people will be turned on. Sterling is a prolific TV actor, having appeared in shows like 24, The Vampire Diaries and Pretty Little Liars. Whilst his video game resume isn't as impressive, he has been cast as Lewis in the final season of Telltale's The Walking Dead. I'll try not to spoil too much about that role, but let's just say things get emotional. So, how do you feel about our imminent deaths? Rounding out the Umbrella Biohazard countermeasure service is Murphy Seeker, Carlos's close friend. He'll be voiced by voice acting legend Todd Habercorn. Come on, don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an effectist. I do need to get fired up uh, for the big, big eight or nine second yells or the battles. Murphy might not be the biggest character in RE3, but this hasn't stopped Capcom hiring one of the most prolific voice actors in this industry for this role. Todd made a name for himself, providing the English voiceover for characters in some of the biggest animes of recent years, including Dragon Ball Z, One Piece and Fairy Tail. In fact, he's already stacked up over 400 separate shows, games and movies to his name. He's a living legend, he really is. Next up is the other stars member left in the city during the outbreak. Brad Vickers, good old chicken heart himself, is voiced by Darren O'Hare. Damn if I know, but right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town, you and me. I'm pretty good, like playing against my friends, I'm good. I can, you know, love playing through the campaigns and then multiplayer online. Darren started appearing in fairly major Hollywood productions early in his acting career, including films like People Like Us and Transformers Dark Side of the Moon. Recently, Darren lent his voice to games like Marvel's Spider-Man, Grand Theft Auto V and Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII, but his biggest role actually came in the Halo universe. He has performed both voice acting and mocap duties for the character Thomas Lasky, appearing in Halo 4, the spin-off TV miniseries Forward Until Dawn and then Halo 5. I'll make arrangements. Rounding out the cast, we actually have two characters that are returning from the Resident Evil 2 remake. First, we have one of my favorite characters from RE2, Marvin Brano, by Christopher Michael Watson. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. We realize all we've managed to do is lock ourselves inside with it. Marvin is memorable for being one of the few friendly faces in Resi 2. For those of you who don't know, Resident Evil 3 story takes place both before and after RE2, which explains why Jill is able to talk to someone who I killed in the previous game. I'll stop this, Lieutenant. I promise. 
Anyway, as for the man behind the character, Christopher has appeared in many TV shows and Netflix productions, such as Scorpion, Seal Team, and Kevin Hart's Guide to Black History. We haven't seen or heard his voice pop up in many video games outside of Resident Evil, but he did appear in The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, the VR title from earlier in 2020. Have you noticed how many people have been in The Walking Dead on this list? It's like they're all addicted to zombies or something. The other character returning from Resident Evil 2 is Robert Kendo, the owner of the gun shop, and he'll be portrayed by Ken Lally. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? That scene really made me realize the depth of the character and how important he was to the story and this, the whole story. I love that name. Ken is a veteran of the video game voice acting world and has lent his voice to games for well over a decade, including The Order 1886, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Far Cry 5, and most recently Mortal Kombat 11, where he plays Smoke. Here's something interesting about Ken. Robert Kendo might be the first character he lent his voice to in Resident Evil, but it won't be the first time we've seen him in it. Get this, Ken provided the motion capture for Albert Wesker in Resident Evil 5. I wonder if Robert Kendo can catch a rocket like Albert Wesker. Finally, let's finish this video with one of the biggest characters in the entire game, both literally and figuratively. I am of course talking about Nemesis. According to IMDB, the voice of Nemesis in 2020 is credited to someone named David Cockman. Everyone loves some cock. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. As far as I can tell, they've never appeared in anything ever before. Literally nothing at all. What a great way to start a career. Then again, I suppose he won't have too many lines to learn. <laughs> So that's about it for this episode. Do me a favor if you're still here, please be a star and click like. Also write in, I'm a Jill Sandwich and I'll try and find you and give you some love. Thank you very much for your time, it's much appreciated. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.